Hiya, and a very happy Beirutful morning to you all. Yeah, that, that's for all of you that caught me mispronouncing Beirut last time. Uh, hey, you, you cut me some slack, okay? I, I try my hardest. I can't, uh, I can't get them all right. Okay, today we are watching Code of Honor, and I can promise you there won't be any difficult words to say in this one because, uh, well, it's... It's uh, Seagal, and he can't pronounce those words either. So let's get to this mamma jamma, because this is Red Eye Reviews. Okay, so we are like 44 movies in, or something like that. Uh, what sort of studios are we working with these days? Lionsgate? Why? Why would you sign up for this garbage? Uh, have you have you not seen a Seagal movie in the past 20 years? Ballsy strat. Uh, but we do start with our boy Steven on a rooftop. Oh, God. No. Wait. Sorry. He's, uh, he's dead already. Yeah. Okay. Well, short video today, guys. I think... Oh, no. Shit. He moved. He's alive. So, a drug deal is going down in some abandoned factory area, and Seagal is ready to mess some shit up. Really? <laughs> what gave that away? Genius? Was it uh, Was it the four dudes who just got murdered? Is that what gave it away? It really is amazing how accurate he could be without ever looking at them. Some magic bullet action going down. So he messes these fools up, shoots this dude while going for the drugs, and then we get probably, like, I dare say my favorite Seagal scene ever. Really, like, it's one of the things that led me to binge-watch Seagal movies. Take a look. How amazing is this? Like, they, they just had Seagal stand in front of a green screen and move back and forth, like, Wee! Whoa! And then he lands looking like a 180-pound Marine. And then just, boom, Seagal. <laughs> it's so good. One more time, one more time. Like, it's for real probably, like, my favorite thing I've watched in a really long time. Okay, so he bails. The next day, the cops show up. Drug deal gone wrong? Very wrong. I forgot to take the drugs. Forgot to take the drugs, but still somehow magically cleaned all the blood off of them. Uh, because last night, this happened. Yeah, so a good job, props team. And what's left of the first streeters? Over here, we've got the remains of the white boys. The white boys? <laughs> that's, that's a little on the nose, don't you think? Okay, so the detectives go to this water tower, and they find this dude. You're pointing a standard police-issue 9 millimeter Glock at me. The academy training has you pointing at my torso. Relax, detective, I'm on your side. He's using this rooftop as a staging ground. And somebody gave this guy just like a few too many speaking lines. But, you know, that's that's OK. We cut to Seagal at a strip club. It's so weird because like the strip club is so loud, but there's only like five people in here. Also, a uh, strip club. Yeah. Seagal goes to these. The scary guy in the back isn't tipping. What does he look like? Yeah, that's Seagal. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have to see who you're talking about. That is such a Seagal thing to do. Go to a strip club and not tip. Hey, they, they said we didn't have to tip. I didn't want to tip. So Seagal leaves the club. Whoa, Seagal, did you just do that? Is this because they asked you to tip? Dude, settle down. But then, like, we cut later, and we see that somehow the bomb only killed the bad guys. Like, the strippers survived. You know, it's one of those smart bombs that can only target bad people. Then our detective speaks a lot, fills the police in that Seagal is, like, ex-special forces, which, you know, shocker. And that he's going to target bad guys and gang members now. And the detective wants to help catch him. You're the one who drew your gun, ran away, and knocked over those innocent civilians. Huh. She's a witness. You're just a tourist here. Sykes is trained to leave a survivor. I'm gonna find her. Perhaps even before she's killed. 
man, this scene really seems like they're they're not even talking to each other. Like, who wrote this dialogue? Michael Winnick, you should be ashamed. What is this garbage? I'll keep in touch. I'll keep in touch. Winky. What do you, you two like gonna bang now? Like, what's with the wink? But we cut back to Seagal, who kills a couple more gang members and then points his gun at the cops. And he's just like, ah, JK, JK, I, I wouldn't do that. I'm a, I'm a good guy. The FBI dude goes to some gang hideout. He steals some evidence. Ah, so you want to build a gaming rig, huh? Good luck getting your hands on a GPU right now. Also, is like anybody else impressed that this computer is kind of plugged in correctly? Like he's got hard drives, he's got like an optical drive. There's a power supply up there. There's like actual cables, some massive CPU cooling fan. Like may maybe this was somebody's gaming rig at some point and they just took their graphics card. But he goes outside. He gets in a fight himself and like shocker, he can also fight. We cut across town. Seagal is just playing like real life Grand Theft Auto at this point. Like he's just shooting pimps and anybody that says too many cuss words in public. But the gang members all talk and they see the FBI dude on the TV and they're like, oh, that has to be our guy. Like he was the guy who killed our boys with a knife. So like now they think like he's the lone killer and Seagal isn't even on their radar anymore. But to make sure they got the right guy, they go and grab that stripper from the club. And they ask her who she remembers seeing at the club. But while they're talking to her, that FBI agent shows up and saves the day, kicks some major ass. Are there any more? <laughs> Dude, you look like Adam Devine's dad. Or like an older, alcoholic brother of his. But as they are getting out, they run into more bad guys. Uh, luckily, at the last second, Seagal saves them. Oh my god, this blood graphic. <laughs> look Look at that. Why is it glowing? That's so bad. Also... What's wrong with you, man? You're slipping. This is the first time Seagal speaks in the movie. Yeah, 48 minutes in. First line. Uh, new record? Probably. We cut to this reporter guy talking to the mayor. Mayor Nate Randolph, the governor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, your wife's holding on line two. Tell her I'm in a meeting. Okay, I, I have so many questions. Like, your wife is on line two? Meaning that this limo has multiple phone lines? Which, why would it ever need that? Uh, secondly, why the hell did we fade to black? Is this a made-for-TV movie and the first commercial break comes 51 minutes in? Like, you couldn't do a jump cut? You've been doing them the whole movie. Who did this? We see some more druggies doing druggy things. And Seagal is still playing Grand Theft Auto. Dick shot and then electrocuted. That's that's quite a way to go. Also, Seagal, you shot a kid. Uh, some poor little junkie child. But, and here's where it gets weird, not the junkie grandma. Huh. We know that you don't have a soft spot for old people because, like, you've killed them in movies before. I, I just want to bring it to your attention that you killed the kid, okay? Uh, let's move on. So the stripper goes to the FBI agent's apartment for protection. Hey, Corey, how you doing? Good. And dude, first of all, you will shoot your dick off if you do this. Don't put your gun down the front. That's like Plaxico Burr shot himself in the leg. So Adam Devine's dad goes to meet up with Seagal at some dance club. He gets there. Seagal's already sitting down. That's a power move. Hey, man. I never went soft. That's what happened to me. I know you went soft a long time ago. Okay, can you please stop talking about who is and who isn't soft? I, I don't need that kind of potty talk. I hope you don't think I've gone that soft. Yeah, we get it. Everybody's soft in this club. Except for that dude in the back. He looks like he's walking a problem off. Okay, so Seagal leaves, but he tells the agent there's a bomb under his chair and that it'll go off if he gets up. And then at the same time, these gang members show up and try to kill him. And, like, we actually get kind of a cool scene. Like, I do really like this, because he's fighting everybody without removing his butt from the chair. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, 
I don't think it would actually work because like there's no way your butt is keeping contact through all of this. But you know what? It, it's cool. It's very like John Wick of you, and I dig it. And the kicker at the end of the fight. He put a bomb under my chair. If I get up, it's going to explode. I don't see anything. Yeah, no bomb. Uh, but I also love that they just eyeball it. They're like, ah, I don't see any like wires or a big countdown clock. There's no coyotes chasing roadrunners. Eh, we're, we're probably good. See what happens. So he goes back. He checks on the stripper and her kid. He loves baseball. He never had a glove. This was my little boys. If you, you brought your dead son's baseball glove with you on this mission. It's a, yeah, bizarre trinket, but, you know, who am I to judge? So one of the only guys alive from the gang still is this mob boss. So they're escorting the mob boss out of the courtroom, and his head gets shot, and it explodes like a watermelon, which, I mean, come on, are we surprised? But, but where did the great Seagal shoot this from? incredible <laughs> what is this it, it went up it zoomed through like i don't know 20 buildings and then it goes back down onto another roof like good god a call you, you just like curve the bullet too what this is awesome but we cut back to him getting ready for his next kill mission and he's just absolutely ruining his knife like i don't think you've ever actually sharpened a knife before on a stone because like that's not how you do it but whatever. We cut to the police officers and the stripper lady telling the police that she's actually never like seen Seagal at all. Just like the FBI agent. Like he saved her in the alley, but she never saw Seagal when he did it. And I think they're trying to like set up a fight club thing for us and like make them the same person, which they could pull it off. Kudos. That's awesome. I'm Agent Donovan. The first agent you sent did a real bang up job. We're the first agents here. What about Porter? Who's Porter? Wait, you guys never bothered to verify that he was a real FBI agent? He just said he was and you believed him? My God, wait till you find out about the Easter Bunny, dude. You're going to be pissed. So the reporter goes to a secret meeting with Seagal and he speaks all cryptic. Hello, Jerry. Truth is absolute. People are subjective. Who are you? I'm just a man with a plan. I'm just a man with a plan. I thought you said no weapons. I said no guns. Ah! I said no guns. <laughs> you you tricky little bastard. Also, Seagal, you kill the kid and this cameraman. He was just doing his job. So, like, are you a good guy? Because I don't think we like you anymore. But now the not FBI guy tells the cops that the next target will be the mayor and to protect him. And then what is the mayor doing now? Having more cut to black affairs. That's cool. The cops, in the meantime, are looking into the past of the not-FBI agent and Seagal, and they find some interesting stuff. Colonel Robert Sykes, missing in action, presumed dead. Major William Porter, he was discharged soon after Sykes went missing. When was he lost in battle? Like, 25 years ago? <laughs> Look at this photo. This looks like PR material for above the law. But now we start to piece things together. His wife and little boy, safe here at home. Oh my god, it is a Fight Club thing. Who are you? I am your super vigilante. So wait, is Seagal dead? Like, I'm not really sure what's going on, but we cut to the not FBI agent. And he goes, he kills the mayor, like, easy peasy. They left the door unlocked in the hotel, and there's no guards out front. This is, like, not how you do an affair if you're rich. And then he meets up with someone. You helped me with the cartels, I really appreciate that. I was starting to get kind of lonely, man. Okay, firstly, watching Seagal try to disarm somebody without getting winded is hilarious. I was starting to get kind of lonely, man. Man, it kind of sounds like he's going to cry. Secondly, is he real? Or is this like, this is like a real Fight Club thing and he's punching himself on a roof right now? I'm so confused. And then to add to that, when a helicopter flies by, Seagal does this. Yeah, he, he throws himself through a skylight. <laughs> so I guess like the cops can't see him. Maybe he is real. 
Also, the inside of this helicopter looks it looks top notch. Really does. So not FBI agent Porter goes inside the building. He fights Seagal again. And then just when the helicopter shows up, Seagal YOLO blows himself and the building up. I don't know what that proved. Also, it's great CGI. It's it's solid. The dog tag is found on the body. Said his name was Robert Sykes. It wasn't a William Porter. Is that him? What's left of him? Wait, you're saying that was the right guy and you can't identify him because he's charred to death? I don't think there ever was anyone else. And that's him. I'm sorry. Okay, there's no way you could confuse these two for each other. There's quite a difference in, uh, like, can I say, like, density between these two. And then the movie ends with this little kid getting that baseball glove, so I guess the other guy is real? Who knows? We don't, uh, but who really cares, really? Because the movie's over. And that was something. Yeah, uh, they tried to be deep and confusing, and they ended up, like, just kind of being confusing. But let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. Here you go, boss. Those deflated car airbags you asked for. We have breaking news from the old missile silo on the edge of town. Okay, Mr. High School News Station, why don't you go ahead and hide that Apple logo? I I doubt that they want to be associated to this movie. Coming to you live from the charred remains of the Snake Eyes Strip Club. Are you a news reporter? Why do I feel like you only report exclusively on strip clubs? God, Adam Devine's dad, he's so weird. Like, why does he look like a discount version of himself? He's so bland. Ew, he died with pit sweat. That's embarrassing. Work of a vigilante. A super vigilante. A super vigilante. Are you saying he's a superhero? I think this gives us permission, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and put Seagal in the MCU. Uh, hashtag bring back the Seagal verse, please. This is Senator Richard's daughter. And what's a senator's daughter doing in a mobster's club anyway? I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing out of your painting from Ghostbusters 2? Okay, that's it. Up next, we have The Asian Connection. My God, I am excited for this movie. It's it's iconic. Uh, it's so good. He's not in much of it, but when he is, oh, it's so good. I cannot wait to watch that. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. We are so close to a 1,000. We're so close. Hit the bell to get reminded of future videos. Uh, do the thumbs up. Leave some comments. Have you seen this movie? My God, it's awesome. But we will see you next time, and until that moment, stay happy and stay healthy.